Hello guys, and today I'm back with another redstone tutorial for 1.8. So I've been over all of this different stuff, I've, been, I've come all the way around here, and now on episode 4, I'm going to be showing you a few redstone clocks. Now these are good for sending out continuous redstone pulses. Uh, I've set three up here, I'm going to show them all off, and then I'm going to uh, go ahead and build each one of them. I've actually showed one basically in the uh, last episode, but I'm going to re-go over that one at the end. It's over there, as you can see. And all of these things are pretty much you know you can make them whatever size you want as long as they're you know basically the same okay so first of all we've actually got this one here this is probably the smallest redstone clock you can get so um, basically in here we've got two repeaters a little bit of redstone and we've got three output things here you can put as many of these on as you want so say if I wanted another one I'd have to just come across here and um, do that look so there we go um, this one over here I'll get to but let's start by showing this one so when I push this button you'll see that the redstone actually comes on and we might actually because this one's so small have to use a redstone torch so if you need to reset your clock at any time just break part of the redstone and it'll all and the loop will finish and there we go so what I'm going to do to power this one is place a torch and then break it quickly so oh that was the wrong way around guys okay so here we go bam bam okay so now you can see that my redstone clock is coming around here and it's sending redstone power to each of these outputs and there we go that's probably the smallest redstone clock we can get if we didn't want the we only wanted one out output then we could just have it on this side and there we go so on to the next one there actually um yeah i'll show you how to build i'll show you how to build this one first and then we'll go on to the next next one i think that's the best plan so we're actually going to need, if I get rid of these, doo -doo -doo, we're going to need that redstone torch, get rid of that. So you're going to need, you know, about four pieces of redstone, two repeaters, plus your output. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop this because it's going to be irritating me. And let's get on to building this thing. So we want to start placing two repeaters. I'm going to place one this way, step over that, turn 90 degrees, and place another one facing the other way. Then I'm going to link them up with two pieces of redstone like this. And we're going to create our output, let's say this side here, and we'll plug it up to a redstone lamp like this. And then even if we wanted an input, like so, you know, you had a button or a lever or something over here that you wanted to start. Maybe not a lever because that wouldn't really work, but uh, there we go. In fact, we might as well use a pressure plate. So I'm going to put a pressure plate here. This is my input. This is my output. So when I step on this quickly... Is this going to work? No, we're going to have to use a redstone torch because this one's so short. Okay. Actually, it might be because I need to uh, increase these, so let's try that. Uh, we'll plug this back in and step on this quickly. So, bam. No, it's still too, too long. So, let's go ahead and place a redstone torch quickly. We'll break the loop like this. Let it all finish, and then we're just going to place a redstone torch. Bam, bam. Okay, so now you can see that our, our clock over here is... Uh, continuing to output redstone signals like this and there we go that's our first one so there we go look and I can even delete the output and it's still gonna keep keep going around keep going around and you can run redstone next to these repeaters here because they won't output to this side great okay so on to the next one then um, do I want to delete this yes I do let's just get rid of this here um, okay so this is a slightly bigger version of the one we've just had over there it involves slightly more repeaters. Uh, you can make it customizable to the amount you want. But let's go ahead and grab some. And um, let's also grab a button here and a wooden block, say. So let's fly behind. I'm actually going to make this one, uh, let's make it 5x5 five five in the middle just so I can show you that it's actually fully customizable. You can decide how long the redstone pulse, uh, the redstone circuit rather, is going to send out a redstone pulse. Um, so let's go ahead and come over here, we're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, turn 90 degrees, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, turn 90 degrees, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there we go, and in each of these corners we're just going to hook up with a little bit of redstone like this. Okay, and then on one of these corners we're going to want to put an input, so let's come over here, place down a block with a button on like this. So when I'm gonna well now I'm gonna click this button and we're gonna see the clock in action. Okay guys so now you can see that our clock is actually in action. I can delete the button and whenever it gets to one of these corners, let's say we wanted an output here, 
we can actually send a light signal like this look if I wanted another output over here it would also send one over here and it doesn't actually is it'll come after that if you want to make this shorter or you want to make the length longer you can either increase the size of all of these redstone repeaters like this so let's just go ahead to all of these and as you can see it's now taking a lot longer to get round <laughs> okay and if you wanted to I don't know make a a smaller one maybe we just wanted I don't know two on each side let's just go bam 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 oh bam 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 and bam like this okay there we go and then let's hook up the corners and put an input in and we're just going to click the button and then delete it okay so as you can see this one was a bit too small so we might need to just increase the uh, redstone ticks a little bit like this reset the loop and this should be good to go now so let's click this and then delete this and as you can see the redstone loop is now going round we can put an output on any of these corners like this okay so let me just set the time to day and then I'll come on to our final one which is the minecart um, what well, I'd probably say the coolest uh, it's called the minecart clock and let's just get rid of all this crap that we don't need and I'm going to show you how this works I did go over that in the last episode but very very quickly so I'm just going to put push this minecart give it a little push and as you can see we've actually got a redstone clock because this minecart is still accelerating it's never going to stop because we've got acceleration rails here and you know we can put outputs to these detector rails the only downside to this is you can't really put a uh, a redstone output anywhere because obviously it's not going to be powered we need to put more detector rails down uh, and if you wanted one in this corner you know it'd be quite hard to work but you know I'm sure you you guys would find a way to get around that so let's go ahead and stop this clock by I don't know oh it's going the other way now so we'll just delete the track we're gonna grab some we're gonna grab a minecart we're gonna grab uh, some regular rails some powered rails some detector rails uh, we're gonna want a lamp to show our output a little bit of redstone and a redstone torch there we go so let's go ahead and fly over here where I'm gonna start to build this and you can also make this any size you want but the bigger it is the more acceleration rails or powered rails you're gonna need to actually keep your cart moving so let's go ahead and make it a little bit wider because we've got the room um, we'll put one two one two here uh, in the middle of these two we're going to put a detector rail like this and then we're going to turn the track I don't know we'll turn it four we can put another acceleration rail here or yeah like that and then we'll turn this again and we'll put some more powered rails down put another detector rail down and more powered rails and get out of the way Cal and then we'll hook this up we can put a powered rail here as well okay so you want to make sure make, want to make sure all your uh, powered rails are actually powered as you can see uh, if you power one you don't need to come along and do this because it's sort of like a chain reaction you power one the redstone will travel down that like that okay so let's just come across and do this oh just a little bit of grass there plonk a torch down there and we'll say oh, I want my output to be here and I want an output to be here okay so let's set up some redstone lamps just so I can show you guys that this actually does work and we're gonna put down our minecart and all we're gonna do is give it a little shove like this so now you can see that our clock is actually running and because it's larger than the one back there the pulse between it turning on and off is gonna be a lot longer uh, you can make this sort of any dimensions you want but please remember that um, you're going to need more more powered rails to make sure your card doesn't stop moving. Say if I deleted this or this, let's say, because I think that's going to, yeah, there we go. Look. So we can see that this has actually uh, made made the cart break because we haven't powered it. But say if we didn't, we had, I don't know. Uh, let's just put some rails down like this and down like this and down like this. That should do it. Um, down like this would actually keep one in and then I put down my car and I say alright off you go it's gonna slowly start to stop it might just reach that next powered rail but yeah as you can see it's actually stopped which means the clock is gonna stop running as well 
So that's the three redstone clocks that I've that I've uh, been planning on showing you guys. We're going to come into sort of some builds that involve these quite soon. But for now, that is the end of episode four. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please like, subscribe. Any feedback is welcome. See you next time.